Greetings, Eric Backer. You should know me by now. I'm a naturopath from New Zealand. I'm the author of a book called Candida Crusher, also the formulator of a range called Candida. Thanks for checking out the video. Another question, lots of questions. Can I do multiple Candida cleanses after the initial one? Let's talk about this a little bit and explain a bit, you know, about what I'm talking about here. Many people believe you need to do whole series of flushes and clean outs and you know they may have 20 colonics uh, they may do lots of enemas at home they may do lots of all flushes or they seem to be constantly detoxing i know some people they're always detoxing their whole lives one flip and detox you know everything is about cleansing 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 well that's not the way really it should be guys it's a little bit like your home or your car or anything else you know, that you care about your body you should care a lot about for example, with my kitchen, over the holiday break, I decided to give it a good clean up and a repaint. So what's the very first thing you do when you're going to clean up? You get rid of all the crap. All the junk's got to go, okay? So I had a good look around the kitchen and dining room, and I got rid of lots of stuff, stuff I don't really use. I had a kitchen rack hanging up, pulled it down, got rid of it. I had pots and pans I wasn't using, got rid of it. All went either to, you know, charity shop or uh, gave them away to other people. So declutter, get rid of crap first. In your diet, get rid of the crap. Get rid of the pizzas. Get rid of the soda drinks. Get rid of all the beer and all the chocolates and all the yum yum bars and the fluffy fluffy bars. I don't know what kind of bars you guys eat out there. But you get my point is get rid of the obvious crap first. That's the main thing that you want to do with the cleanse, all right? And then when you've cleared the air, Okay, then you can start seeing, well, I want to keep that, and I want to keep this plate or this cup, or I want to keep that saucepan. So then you look at your diet, well, I want to keep this, I want to keep this in my diet. So I spoke a lot about this in my book, The Big Cleanup. This is a really clever approach, right? Clean up your life first, clean up your diet, get rid of stuff, and then you need to fine-tune things a little bit more. If you do a cleanse properly, you don't need to keep repeating them and repeating them and repeating them and repeating them. Why would you want to clean the kitchen 15 times in a row, you know? When I do a kitchen cleanse, I do one every several years. I wouldn't do one like nine times in one year, okay? Some people I speak to, uh, as I mentioned before, are doing detoxes all the time. Their whole life is one continual detoxification uh, regime. And they, they seem to have this f uh, crazy idea that if they keep going on a detox, their health's going to improve. And in fact, all it's doing is creating more problems internally in their digestive systems, creating more stress for them and the people around them. So don't have this stupid belief that continual cleansing leads to better health. It does not do that. If you do it once, you do it right. Okay? Don't be afraid to turf stuff out of your life that you don't need. And I'm talking about people, maybe need to be thrown out of your life, relationships, jobs, you know, occupations. Boyfriends or girlfriends, clothing, whatever you've got in your life, if you see it as some kind of a thing you're not happy with or an obstacle, just get rid of it. And it's the same in your diet. It's the same with your attitudes. If you've got an attitude, well, ah, I like to sit on the couch and watch television and eat my yum yum bars and I don't like to exercise much, well, that's an attitude that needs chucking out the window, it needs throwing out. Sometimes people need attitude changes too to improve their health. Sometimes the smallest things that you do can lead to the biggest improvement in your health. And often all it requires is a shift or a change in consciousness, a change in attitude. Right? Multiple cleanses are not required. However, when it comes to a gallbladder flush, I would tend to, to uh, beg to differ there. I've seen many patients, and I think I've shown you guys these photos before, that have had flush after flush after flush. If you're an old person like me, late 50s, it's advantageous maybe to do a more thorough or a deeper cleanse than if you were a younger person, say in your you know, late twenties. So the older you are, the older the more old the old chassis, an old car needs a lot more work than a younger car. Okay? So I think I've shown you guys these photos before. This is Barbara, flush one. Gallbladder flush, look at those stones. Flush two. Look at that. Flush three. Flush four, okay? Flush five. Not nice pictures if you're having your breakfast right now and checking out your Facebook profile. But as you can see here, Barbara is a woman in her 60s who's had very successful 
uh, cleanse, she was scheduled to get a gallbladder taken out. Now she's had about a dozen gallbladder flushes with very big advantage. She's lost a lot of weight. Her health's improved, her sleep's improved. She's improved big time. Now don't get me wrong, um, let's get it, not get misunderstood here. There's a big difference between a detox and a gallbladder flush, okay? I see the gallbladder flush as something that you do after you've done a proper cleanse and detox. There's no point in doing a gallbladder flush in the middle of a lifestyle full of pizzas and soda drinks. Oh, I better do a gallbladder flush. And then you go back to that lifestyle again. This to me is the icing on the cake that Barbara did. So Barbara did a three week detox first, proper detoxification we put her through, changed her diet, started to exercise more, did yoga, so exercise class. We gently got her engaged you know, in this kind of process and she felt better and better. We fine tuned the diet more, culminated in the gallbladder flush. And as I mentioned to Barbara, if you've done a successful flush, wait about a week, maybe two weeks, do another flush. If you keep passing out stones, do another flush, do another flush. And each time she did a flush, several days later, her health picked up to another level and another level and another level. But a detox, in general, we're talking about coming off the crappy diet, eating a better quality lifestyle, uh, eating a better type of food, engaging exercise, maybe taking some liver or kidney cleansing, herbal medicines or nutritional supplements to clean that up. That's what I call a detox. So sometimes you will need to do one or two detoxes if you're a very you know, sick person or if you've allowed your body to accumulate lots of garbage. A stool test or a hair analysis may be good you know, starting points for you to determine your level of toxicity. There, you can also do a functional liver detox profile. We can do a urine test to determine if your liver is pretty well you know, screwed up, if it needs a, a deep cleanse or if it's not that bad. So there are different ways to determine toxicity in the body. And sometimes if you're an older person like me and you've never done a detox before, it would pay to do testing first. Or you could test any time really, uh, you know, pre and post. But multiple cleanses generally are not going to provide you a higher quality health. I would really beg to differ there. And no doubt I'm going to get comments of people calling me a crazy idiot that they've done 9,000 detoxes. And on the 9,000 and first detox, they felt better. So, you know, remember also, you're going to really annoy the hell out of a lot of people around you if your whole life is one big detoxification regime. Or you can't drink this water and you can't eat that food and every time you go out you can't eat this and you can't eat that. And you're going to annoy the hell out of people. Okay? People don't like this kind of crap all the time. So, it, you know, it pays to really think about that too. About your life, other people's lives, and what you're actually getting out of the detox. If you follow the Candida Crusher approach, as I've outlined in my book and in the videos, you follow it properly, you will not need to do multiple cleanses. Do it once, do it right. That's all I've got to say on the matter. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Click on the link if you haven't got my report. Thank you.